Hello everybody, my name is Minecraft Days and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. Today is a special day here on the Plundercraft server because today marks six months of Plundercraft. <laughs> All right, so today's episode, we're not going to be going around and building stuff like I would want to, or another, a different Plundercraft episode would be this. We're just going to take a tour around in Plundercraft and see my favorite things here on the Plundercraft server. Um, also, I started here today because we were starting here in Plunderville. Plunderville has grown a lot over the six months. Uh, this is where we all started. We all spawned in right here in the middle, and um, we have all grown off of there from from there. And I can show you right over here where Jonah's house is. There was a pit of water, and that water had beds going up it. There were five beds, and that was the bed stack. That was the first ever thing built on Plundercraft besides spawn. Um, also, my first death, I can show you where that was, my first death was when we first found this ravine that's down here. Uh, Justin hit me and I fell all the way down it and I died that uh, right then and there. Uh, at the beginning of the server we had five members. There was me, Jonah, uh, Justin, Josh, and Kings. It was a small but really nice server, and now we are at a wonderful 11 members, soon to be more, because we are searching for more as well. Uh, here on the server, we are mostly active every day. There's... Okay, then. There, we're mostly active every single day here on the server. Uh, I don't think there's ever been a day when there's uh, been nobody when there's been absolutely nobody on. I would say the only days is when the server is down. Can you stop? My horse is freaking out. But uh, the first things that were here on the server were spawn, the bed stack, Justin's house, and then the beginning of my house. My house came from my old log cabin video. I made a second floor. I was going to make a third floor, but then I decided, you know what? We're going to tear it down. So I tore down the entire building and built what you see here today. And it has turned out great. It's been expanding ever since it was built. Um, we had first the building, which was my entire house, so I owned the entire house. Then Yield Shop was, was, was made, so I lost a part of my own house. And then now um, we have the House of Commons. So my whole house, except for two rooms, are not mine anymore. Um, so we have the House of Commons. It's getting set up for a banquet right now because we're going to be doing an election for mayor. But um, we can come up here. Oh, if I can go through the door. This is one of my only rooms I have in my house. Oh, Tim left me a message. As you can see, we found Barry B. Benson. He went missing for a few episodes, and we finally found him. Jonah found him wandering around in the forest. But we brought him back, and now he's back here, and he's stuck in this room forever. Because I don't know how he escaped in the first place. So there's that first room. And then we can come down here. And out this door. And this is my second room. This is, of course, all the chests and stuff. Also, I own the basement, but that's I don't count that as a room. Uh, then there was also Pepe's house when he joined the server. He started out with a shack basically the same as mine, but with made out of birch wood. He then added on to it, made it massive, and had it eight floors, brought it back down to around three floors and smaller, and then tore the whole thing down and built this. So his house has probably had one of the most changes. Uh, Jonah's house has basically been the same ever since he built it. We all know that King's house... Uh, has gone through a lot. Uh, we went from his, ma uh, sh from Psycho C's massive mansion mansion that he lived in with her, and then it went down to a tiny shack, and now it's becoming a hotel, and it is marking the first skyscraper basically to be added to Plunderville. So that's exciting. Um, after that, 
we had, of course, there was Pepe. Then we had Nofflet join. Nofflet's house is right over here. He's the person who owns the food shop. That shop was the third shop to ever be built in the entire server. So, um, and it's one of, it's the only shop that's actually left that's been there ever since the beginning. Because, um, the first shop was destroyed. That was Marcos's fish shop. And then the second shop was Justin's shop, and that was torn down and built into Daniel's shop. So his shop is one of the only original shops that are still here. Everyone else's shops have basically been torn down and rebuilt, or they were just built afterwards. Plen I'm going to take uh, a little bit of a fly around. I already have my rockets and stuff with me. We're going to take a little bit of a fly around around in Plunderville. Oh, well, if it, it kind of helps if you can fly. There we go. We have the town hall. Um, we've got Silver Raptor's house, which has to get taken down because he left the server. One of the only uh, things that has never been changed on this server is this, the monument. It has been added on to, but it has never been taken down and changed to something different. This is exactly how Justin built it when it was first made. And now it, as you can see, it holds... Oh, I'm at one heart! Now, as you can see, it holds all the members' names. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to slowly get my hearts back out. It also has the map of Plundercraft, which I believe has to be updated. Yeah, it has to be updated, because that's brand new over there, up there. And uh, it also has the Your Thoughts, which doesn't look like there's anything new. <laughs> that's okay. But... Plunderville has had many, many changes over it, and it looks amazing, and it's always growing. Uh, there's never a day when someone's working on something here in Plunderville. But now it is time for me to head to my base to show you what I've been doing, because I've been doing a little bit of work there, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So when we walk through the portal, of course, we have the tiny little village that I'm building here. I'm still adding on to it. As you can see, I've built a little more over here that I'll be adding on to as well later. And, uh, of course, you guys already know there's the best part of this base. The thing that actually makes it a base, which is right over here. And I'm looking down for a reason. Hold on, I gotta get rid of something. There we go. What is it? There we go. I figured it out. So, right over here, we have the base. It is looking amazing. And... Uh, just a few days ago, a creeper blew up when I was I was just standing here being AFK, and a creeper blew up. So what I did is I took some more sandstone, and I made this look like it's, you know, it's old. Because remember, this is all old. None of this is brand new, and I don't want it to look brand new. Um, I got more materials, but I ran out of materials at the one point, so I wasn't able to finish the floor. But I did finish the floor right over here, which is looking really good. It sure is. <laughs> And then, also, uh, I did it in one of the videos where I finished down here. I have totally scrapped that idea that I was doing, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do instead. So, since with the haste 2, I've been able to clear out. I knew this ravine was here for the entire time, because when I was digging, a glitch happened, and I was able to see through the wall, so I saw this ravine. But, are you guys ready to hear what my plans are? Here's my plans. Yep. I'm going to make this uh, a circle all the way around it, and then the ravine here is going to be enlarged, and I'm going to make this ravine go all the way around it. So then this is in the center, and there's a massive ravine going around it. So this will be all taken out, and it will be basically a massive dome where the ravine is. There'll be, you know, massive stalactites hanging from the ceiling and everything like that, and it'll look really, really cool. Uh, the, the floor of the ravine will be obsidian and lava, so there will be some lava patches and some magma blocks, and, and then there will be all this obsidian, So which means I have to get rid of all the, the water. And I'll leave some of the lava falls because those look really cool. So I ran out of materials when I got over to here, and I had the great idea of putting a hole in the wall. 
I ran out of materials, so I put sandstone all here, and then I put it more into normal sand. And then I got rid of this mountain that was back here because there's a river here, and I want to flatten that out and make a, a village, a, a, a sand sandstone village back there. But as you can see, this thing's got some little spikes coming out of the ground, like the stuff fell. This is a remnant of one of those towers. Just it, It's all destroyed, and it's just a remnant. And I got some vines growing down, which is really cool. I really like that. And it's looking really, really nice. I really like it. Alright everyone, I know it was a short video, but all I wanted to do is show you all of the things that I have been a part of in uh, this, so far, this season, in uh, Plendercraft Season 1. Uh, so, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, slap that like button silly in the face like there's no tomorrow. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team of Fruity, And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye!